Praise God. Um, you know what the Bible said in the book of um, Psalm 124, verse 7? He said, I saw is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Now, there's this news going around with um, Kiyamo, the lawyer, and his co-corporates. And Sahara, I, I believe um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman's name is what brings a lot of traffic to your plug. But I'm here to speak on some on facts about what is going on and the news you guys are spreading around. I saw the demonic conference. This is one of the most ridiculous a conference I've ever seen in my life. We have some group of journalists, self-claimed journalists, are interviewing a prostitute that's been living in Canada all her life and couldn't achieve anything but being a common stripper. And we're not just talking about being a professional stripper. We're talking about being the cheapest stripper in Canada. Now, I'm not here to, you know, to beat around the bush. I'm here to give facts. Since Nigeria choose to be smart and not be intelligent, it's making me sick to my stomach. First of all, this Stephanie girl claims she met uh, Papa in Canada. Where? When? Now, facts about when you're traveling the country. Immediately you land the airport, there is a camera. They know everybody that comes to that country. The first time Papa ever went to Canada was in 2014, when Omega Fire Ministry started over there. I was present at that program, and I did the recording. I placed it on a page. On this page, I am going to reshare so that you see. Then, Papa came again with Mama to Canada. Mama was right there. Mama preached on the second day in the meeting. Now, when, you, when, when Papa land, and when you're traveling the Western world, Papa do not travel alone. Papa never, never goes alone. Praise God. The hotel that Papa stays, there are cameras everywhere. There is no camera in America or in Canada. There is no hotel in, in, in America or Canada that doesn't have camera. And when you're coming in, when you're lodging in a hotel in America or in Canada or any other developed country, because I don't know about Nigeria, whatever is going on is the only, it can only go on in Africa. I'm sorry to say. They will need you to sign in. They will need you to sign in the time you came in. And they will need your ID. Without an identification number, you cannot go into an hotel. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I live in America. I know how this works. So let me show you how it works. I've been a fire safety director before. I walked downtown Manhattan before. All right? Let's not get it twisted when I came to this country. Now, they will need something like this for you to be there. Now, Papa does not do his reservation himself. The pastors, the hosts, are the ones that does his reservation. So, Stephanie, where did you meet Papa? That Papa now took you to an hotel. Where did he meet you? That he now, you guys now started dating. Please explain that. Since none of these journalists are smart enough to ask these specific questions. And there are cameras when you step into that hotel. When you leave, they want to protect themselves. None of the hotel in America or Canada want to get sued. Because in America, you can sue for anything. When somebody is missing, there is a crime. Maybe you come to an hotel, you kill somebody or something. They want the police to trace that person to that hotel to see exactly what happened, what transpired. If you do not have all these things, there is no way they will let you lodge. Now, Papa's meeting is more than 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 
in the gathering. When you have, according to the American standard of Canadian law, when you have more than 30 people in the room, you need a camera. You need a, 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 a what they call it, a fire extinguisher, a fire safety director and staff to be there for security reasons. So, there are cameras in the venue. Whether through the back door, whether through the side door, whether in the front door, anywhere, there are cameras everywhere. Stephanie, we want to see receipts about everything you're accusing the man of God about. Because Nigerians don't let people use, that is the only girl they could choose for their dirty job. Because a girl that labored, that went to school in Canada, that is well learned, that has a license, that has a legit job, will never do what Stephanie Otobo is doing. You know why? Nobody wants to spoil their name. But this girl has no name. She has no good credit. She has nothing. So she is the only person they could pick for a dirty job. But that's not the case. The case here is when they are done with her doing this dirty job, guess what? The same politicians, the same fake pastors that paid her to do this job, we are praying they let her live her life. Okay? This woman, Papa has never, ever been alone. I have a program coming up in New York. Stephanie claimed Papa did an introduction with her. That they did an introduction. We want to see pictures, not Photoshop. We want to see videos. We want to see it, Stephanie. We need receipts. When, whenever I'm even hosting... The sons of the prophet, the, the, son, the senior pastors in Omega. This is how we customize a flyer. Papa and mama picture is always there. Papa never hid his wife. Every Sunday, all over the internet, even though a white Caucasian woman that is affiliated with Omega Fire Ministry, they know about Mama Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. This is my upcoming program. This is it. You can see Papa and Mama up there. You can go through every Omega page. Mama and Papa are always there. Stephanie, how would a man propose to you and you never knew the man was married? Is Apostle running a two to, two to three together kind of ministry? Is Apostle doing a church, a little church? Is it, is it, is, are you, who, who, who are you talking about? What, what pastor are you, what pastor are you talking about? I am looking at this junk of a girl that me as a girl, as a female, when I was even in the world, I can't even roll with a girl like that. I can't even keep her as a friend because of the way she looks. And you talked about Papa bringing you to New York. Boo Boo, I am the state pastor of New York. When did Papa travel with you? Papa travels with convoy and all the cars that we use are licensed. When? When? When did you guys travel together? That you guys now came at 4 a.m. in the morning. Who are you talking about? The bingo? Are you talking about bingo in America? Are you talking about the drug addicts in, in America? You and Papa came in the same car. I cannot even enter Papa's car. I can't even touch his door. His protocol will not even allow me. People are... Now, I believe, I've seen a lot of people criticize why Papa go with security because of junk people like Stephanie Otobo and his lawyer, uh, Kiyamo, are the reasons why Papa go with so much protocols. Why Papa travel with all his senior ministers. There are lies. These are obvious lies that this lady is telling. From the, from the airport to the hotel, there are cameras. Papa's a, a, a movement can be traced at any time, any day. We have receipts of our Papa's itinerary. We want Stephanie to provide receipts. And please don't come with a story that you guys met in Nigeria. Never. That's not true. That is not true. The reason why you will not claim that you guys, if, because you might want to change your story after you see my video, why you will not claim that you met in America, they will write your name. Stephanie, we want to know the hotel. We want to go to the hotel where you and Papa met. 
We want to see it on camera. We want, I got the time. I have all those times in my hands. You said Papa proposed to you. You? You? Papa proposed to you? Papa told you he wants to marry you? For what? On what ground? Or oh, you never knew he was married. And a foolish, dirty, looking, frustrated journalist that are paid to do this dirty job stood up and was asking, eh, what is the what is his hands look like? Is that what you should ask? Is that the question you should ask? You should be asking this lady. So all the money, you should be asking this lady, when did you guys meet in Canada? What hotel? What is the name of the hotel? We would like to verify. And according to the Canadian law, the hotel cannot hide all these facts when things like this are going on. So, we are waiting. We are here. We are not going. The only thing we are saying, whoever is paying you to do this job, they shouldn't even think of using you, doing what they do with you, then come and say it's Omega people that has anything to do with you. No, you people should not try it. Our eyes, our ears is open. Okay? That's what I got to say to that. Then you accused and said, oh, uh, um, he was threatening you. Who? Papa every day gives money out to people. It's not what they hide. He's on YouTube. His ministry every Sunday, he gives out money to people. His pastors, they give out money to people. He gives to the old. Is it that Papa wants to sleep with an old woman? Papa gives to the young. Is it that Papa wants to sleep with the young? Before you people start carrying out stories and saying to Sarah, continue. Apostle Joseph Suleiman will, will be the last traffic that will come to your plug. You will never rise to the level of Linda Ikeji because Linda Ikeji never played this dirty. She will go back and forth to get a story correct and every other plug. So when you guys are doing these crazy things you're doing, know that God will rise up against you. Definitely yes. So those of you saying, oh, there is no smoke, how can this girl just come up? When, he, when you pay somebody to do a dirty job, they will do it when they are hungry. A girl that has not been able to see a thousand dollar Canadian, she's talking about being a celebrity. I've watched her song, she released only one single. I write songs. To hit the studio in Manhattan is very cheap and easy. I don't need much for that. We have access to those things in America. In Canada, they are everywhere. Then put upload it up on YouTube and call myself a musician. Before you people start telling lies and spreading rumor, make sure your facts are correct. Make sure you are telling the truth. Make sure the, the, the musician, the, the politician that paid you. Timaya is not even claiming that he knows you. See, Maya is not even responding to you. But Kiyamo is running with you up and down after Papa spoke about the killings of Christians. This is a dirty way you people choose to come up with. And I am shocked that 60% of Christians, is even people that are not Christians that are defending Papa, say, ah, this man we know cannot do such a thing. Papa has protocol everywhere. Papa has Security, not even female, female ushers can come to where Papa is staying. If people have to trace Papa to anywhere, is at the lobby, is we pastors, our members that are begging us, oh please let Papa touch me, let Papa touch me. We will not out of pity when Papa is going to his car, when he's leaving, that's when everybody's rushing. Papa touch my head, Papa. Go and watch it on YouTube, it's right there. Go and watch it on YouTube. You people should not listen to this, this stupid lie that Sahara and the gang that they paid to do this dirty job. Go on YouTube. Papa does touch of love in America. Papa gives. We can provide receipts. We can put up YouTube. Is it that Papa wants to sleep with the, with the orphanage home in America? Stephanie, your story can die with you in, in Nigeria because you know, you and I know 
You cannot bring those craziness in Canada because they will, they will want facts. No journalist in Canada will have the time to be asking you, oh, what is the finger? What is the hand? What is the picture? No, they want to see fat. They will tell you, can we have the hotel where you guys meant? They will go straight to the hotel. They will ask them to bring a video footage. They let them see Papa and Stephanie walking together. None of the journalists are asking such questions. You know why they will not ask? Because the Sahara reporters were paid. Why are they updating their plug every second on Johnson Suleiman? I see that is the only news they have. They even gave this pink girl. The wig she's even wearing is not human hair. And in America, Canada, that's the cheapest hair. All the money you claim Papa gave you, you're going to buy human hair for yourself. You are using a cheap wig, cheap clothes to do your dirty job? Girl, I am disgusted. I'm a woman. I will never roll the way you roll. I will never do the dirty, shady things that you are doing. My own thing is, even some of my friends on my Facebook, I saw their dirty comments. And but that tells me that a lot of Nigerians, 60-70% of them are smart, but they are not intelligent. Okay? Being intelligent and being smart is two different things. So before y'all come with the foolishness, I did this video just to make a lot of you understand that use your head, don't be played. This is politics being done to Papa because of the way Papa spoke up for the killings of Christians. When these people in the government saw that the people stood as one voice and said, no, we've had somebody who has come out to speak for us. They decided to pay this girl to keep, if they do in proper investigation, they know they're not going to see anything of Papa. But they just want to do this dirty thing. The only reason why we are speaking out, we don't want them to now finally kill this girl or do something nasty to her and put it on Papa. No, that is why we are speaking out. Papa specifically told us not to speak, but we are his children. Many of our destinies are tied to that man. He helps the poor. He helps the needy. In America here, a lot of people need him. That is why I will speak. And that is why I am speaking with so much anger. When he comes on the 14th, on the 15th, there is somebody that has cancer that's going to be healed. There is somebody that has been battling with life that's going to be free. There is somebody that needs to walk. So I'm not going to let one dirty girl from the pits of hell scandalize this man's day and think she could walk away with it. No, boo, boo you're not going to walk away with it. Yes, you're not. You're not. That man is a tool for God. Papa is unbothered. Our faith may not be up to the faith of Papa to stay strong like that. That is why we speak. And that is why I speak. Because I am disgusted with the things that has been written and said about a man that I know. There is no way they even give Papa ordinary... The guest talking about drink. Papa will drink in public. Papa. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Get your fat straight, Nigerians. Get your fat straight. Get your fat straight, please. Get your fat straight. And those of you that are condemning Papa walking with security here and there, these are one of the many reasons. I don't need to tell you anymore why he travels with security. Not because of gun or anything, but for people like this, not to come up and say, I slept with a man of God, I did this. We are going to put out the video, the Canada video, did this girl claim Papa invited her to Nigeria three times? Who? Who? Papa. <sighs> anyway. I've said my piece. I saw a garbage conference. I want you to share this video. I want you to share this video. For the government, for them to know that we know exactly, and the fake pastors, that we know exactly what they are doing. We are not sleeping. God bless you and more grace. We are still waiting for footage of, of whatever um, this girl want to see videos. She's talking about um, uh, what they call it, Ikeja Hotel. Child, anything can be framed in Nigeria. We, I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> I went to school in that country. 
anything can be cooked up in Nigeria. All they need to do is to go to one hotel, pay the manager, because everybody they hungry, say, for Nigeria. Hmm? Then they will put, they will back dates, they will write, give one small boy 5,000 or 10,000 and say, right, 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 say they come here. When you ask them for video, they won't, they won't have a video to show that Papa walked into that hotel. But Stephanie, come and try it in America now. Come try what you they try for. Come try it for Canada. We will trace, we want to see facts. God bless everybody. More grace.